chapter 7, lesson 2, is about average speed. Okay, so the formula for average speed is equal to total distance over total time. Okay, so um, again, when we say average speed, that's just the same thing as average rate. It all depends on the book that you're using. Since we're using a Singapore math book, they use speed. Okay, and again, it's best to remember to train our kids to write down the given every time so that it's easier for the brain cells to process. Given and formulas to be used are important. Okay, so I'll also put from the last lesson, distance is equal to speed times time. Okay, and from there, we should be able to get speed is equal to distance divided by time and time is equal to distance divided by speed. Okay, so again, knowing one is sufficient because the others are just derived from the one. Okay, so starting with page 15, it, not problem number one, it says, the distance between town A and town B is about six kilometers. Okay, so there's a drawing. I'll draw A, B. Distance is six kilometers. Okay, the distance between town B and town C is about 15 kilometers. So... Let's see. Distance is 15 kilometers. Okay, then it says Miss Nang takes half an hour to cycle from town A to B. So that's the time is equal to one half R. Okay, and another R to cycle from town B to C. So this is another R, one R. Okay, then it says find Miss Nang's average speed for the journey from town A to B. Okay, so again here, the book has leading questions. So if you need to fill in the blanks, then we have no choice but to follow. But I'll show my version of the solution after I discuss the book's version. So the book says total distance. So meaning they're doing step by step the top. Okay, that will be 6 plus 15, which is 21 kilometers. Okay, then it says total time. Total time. Okay, so total time is 1 half R plus 1 R, which is 1 and a half R or 3 halves R. Okay, so and then finally it says the average speed is so average speed okay so this you can use a calculator so that means that one and a half can also be written as 1.5 it doesn't really matter whatever you prefer to use okay so the average speed is the total distance 21 divided by three halves or one and a half so if you do that and put it in your calculator that's 14 kilometers per hour. Okay, that's the book approach. But if you just plug into the formula, average speed is equal to 6 plus 15 divided by 1 half plus 1. That's 21 divided by 3 halves, which will also give you 14 kilometers per per R. So again, you can go straight and use the formula directly or you can do it little by little as the book shows. Continuing on to page 17, problem number 2, it says Adele's school was 897 meters away from the stadium. She took four minutes to walk from the school to the library. Okay, so that means there's a school, there's the library, and there's the stadium. So school, and then library, and then stadium. 
Okay, so again, it says Adele's school was 897 meters away from the stadium. So that's this. 897 meters. Okay, then it says she walked. She took four minutes to walk from the school to the library. So I'll put it here. Time is equal to four minutes. Okay. Then it says she then walked another 648 meters at a speed of 72 meters per minute from the library to the stadium. Okay. So which means they gave me the distance which is 648 meters. They gave me the speed, which is 72 meters per minute. Okay. Then it has two separate questions. Okay, so again, this is leading us to the final question that asks, what is Adele's average trip for the whole journey? Okay, average speed for the whole journey. So here, since they have leading questions, we need to go through it. So in question A, it says, find the total time taken for the journey. Okay, so again, this is in preparation for average speed. So if it's in preparation for the average speed, we should have the total distance, which they gave. And we should have the total time. They gave one time, we need to find the other time. So that means time here will be the first question mark. Okay, so here, what we need is we'll just use the formula because that's what the book gives. So if we want the time, that would be the distance divided by the speed. Okay, so which means that 648 divided by 72. Again, this problem allows us to use our calculators. So if we put in our calculator, that should give us 9 minutes. Okay, but the question says, what is the total time of the journey? So that means the total time would be the 4 minutes plus the 9 minutes, which makes it 13 minutes. Okay, in B... It says, find Adele's average speed for the whole journey. So again, my average speed would be my total distance over my total time. So if you don't want to write out the whole formula, then you can use symbols such as these, total distance over total time. Okay. Which means that total distance is 897 meters. And the total time we just found to be 13 minutes. If we divide that using our calculator, we should get 69 meters per minute. So again, parents, the numbers will get big. This is why... The kids are now allowed to use their calculators. So if they're allowed to use their calculators, let them use their calculators. But if they're not allowed to use their calculators, we have to make sure that they're able to solve the problem without the calculator, but check at the end using the calculator if we got it right or not. That concludes Lesson 2 of Chapter 7. I'll see you in the next lesson.